Hello, family. Hello, family. Look at my eyes. Hello. Hello. He's so cuddly. So cuddly. I wish you could all hug this cuddly kitten. Hey, everybody. It's Bunny, and we're going to do a video today that I feel like we haven't done in at least a couple weeks maybe a month. We're gonna do an Uncommon Objects Hurl today, which is the video in which I, which, which is which, which is which. I feel like that's like a Halloween song about witches. Am I wrong? Which witch, the sandwich store? Do you have that where you are? I don't know, my hair is out of control. Uh, which is the video in which I can't think of another way to say that sentence. In this video, I will show you guys the antique type things uh, that I love to purchase and decorate my house with, and you guys only see like a small selection. Also, my dirty takeout cup in the back that is tray elegante. The weird things that I love to fill my home with, they're not necessarily weird. I don't know. I like weird things. I can't think of what to say today. It's raining here today, but like not hard rain, just enough rain to wash my thoughts out of my brain. How's the weather like where you are today? I didn't buy as much this time as I normally do, but I feel like I bought a couple larger pieces of antique treasures, one of which I can't unfortunately show you today because it is downstairs waiting to be lifted upstairs. I might actually use this as a receptacle for makeup. It is blue. It is my favorite furniture blue color, of which I have no reference of at this very moment. It is my favorite furniture blue color and it's drawers. This is so much babbling. Let me show you the things that I can show you. Right off the bat, we have this beautiful, totally adorable, Swamp Family alligator puppet. Say hello! Say hello! I just, can I start doing puppet shows. Hi! Isn't he so cute? And then sometimes he can go like this. Oh, I have a headache. Why? Like, just, that's my reaction. Oh, today is a day. That's a day. Do you see, you see what I'm saying? I would make a great puppeteer. Just move over, Jim Henson. I know some people are gonna say he's a crocodile, but he's an alligator. At least in my mind, he's an alligator, okay? Also, I bought this paintbrush. I am a collector of weird old paintbrushes. And you guys can't see them today. Maybe you can. Those are paintbrushes all hanging on the wall. Also, in that thing, that drawer, that glass thing back there, I've got many old paintbrushes in that. It's kind of like a new thing that I like to collect and purchase. So I got this one. Wow, it's like bigger than any of the other old paintbrushes I've ever purchased. And it's not reading through on the camera lighting. I think it's just making it look like all white. But in person, it's kind of lavenderish, pinkish, but like not gross pink, like cool pink, ye old pink. And the brush bristles are so fluffy. I can just like put my foundation on with this one day. Be a little adventurous. Not ever, but I like it anyway. I'm probably gonna hang it on the wall. Also, I bought, I'm gonna save this for a little bit later in case it scares anyone, but I bought this adorable little book with this little baby on it. How cute is that? It looks like those Cupid dolls. Isn't that so cute? Isn't that so cute? And it's called Complete Cheerful Cherub. I guess he's supposed to be a cherub. Oh look, there's his little wings. I never noticed that. But you guys know how I like to talk about adorable little baby cherub butts. So uh, this just has these little itty bitty poems in this book about everything that you can think of. Like these are all about exercisings or exercisings, not like, <laughs> not like exercisings, but like one, two, Three exercisings, expectation, extravagance. It's kind of like a dictionary of adorable little poems starring this adorable little cherub baby. And I just thought it was so cute. It's so old. This is from 1932, so it's like old, fun. It's got that delicious old book smell. I 
love it. I love the smell of old books. I just wish everything smelled like old books. People that you meet smelled like old books. That would be great. I also bought this teeny tiny little headless man. Just look at him going on his journeys about life as if he had a head. He's missing an arm. He's missing a head. He don't let it bother him. Uh, I think he's like a soldier of some sort, but doesn't he look like a ghost just kind of marching through life? doing stuff. I noticed some people this is just junk. These are my treasures. I treasure this. I really do. I love it. Everything tells a story. Okay, now onto something that might be creepy and disturbing to some of you guys, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. And as I always say, if you're easily disturbed, close your eyes, maybe. But look, it's Cabbage Baby! Hello, Cabbage Baby. They said, I think she's from the 30s or 40s. Adorable little cabbage head baby. Look at our little cabbage. Little cabbage. It's probably just a bonnet. But for me, I associate many of my dolls with foods like Potato Man and Pancake Man, Eggplant Man, Cabbage Girl. You know, I don't, I love cabbage too. Like just, does anybody else out there just love cabbage? Like just steam me some cabbage leaves and that I love eating cabbage leaves. I don't know. That's always like in Willy Wonka when they talk about like just eating the cabbage broth. I'm like, what's wrong with that? Cabbage is delicious. And she's got like hand embroidery all over her little cabbagey body and like little frilly cabbage hands, cabbage gloves and just regular feet. Cabbage baby! I love it. Next, one of the larger items that I bought is this thing which I was no longer able to resist. And if you can see these kind of like gear things, see that handle in the back? I bought something kind of similar to this before. Didn't know what was, what, I, what is that? I don't know, I don't know, but I like the look of it. I've almost bought this a million times and I always passed up on it before. And finally this time I could resist its charm no longer. Look at this, it's a wheel and it's got like string and you can like, oh, I'm getting splinters. Um, you can like, in the turns, do you see? And it's like a string winding magical object. I think I'm gonna put this on my nightstand in my room. It just looks like such a raw piece of equipment. Do you know what I mean? Do you, I, I like things like this. It kind of makes me think of my grandpa, even though I doubt he ever had like a string collecting wheel. Uh, I have so many splinters now. Help me remove my splinters. Or don't. I just, would you help me remove my splinters? And then the last thing that I got for this trip, which is the most fun and preposterous, possibly, it's all fun. It's all preposterous. I love it all. Uh, is this giant mask of like some kind of fishmonger. Look, he's got a fish hat and then he's got this face. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already saw this already. It's like huge. Let me stand up so that maybe I can show you. Get out of the way, chair. See how big this is? It's like the size of me as a human being. Almost. Uh, almost. Dog Man and I collect masks. So when I saw this dude, I had to add him to our collection. As you guys probably know, I love going to Walt Disney World whenever possible. And one of our favorite rides there is the Norway ride. Shout out to Norwegian Swamp family members. It's kind of like this boat ride. And right as you enter the ride, there's like this giant Viking face and he's got like this blinking sparkly eye and he kind of like winks at you and uh, that's what this reminded me of just like the fish hat and the fishing in norway and the norway and the viking beard and it looks old and it's surprisingly lightweight let me scoot my chair back i'm just kind of hanging out here with my gangly arms and legs that is all i got this time and i feel like that's a small Pearl, but I hope you guys still enjoy. And as I always say, unfortunately, this store only has one location and they do not do online sales. So I'm gonna link you guys to their store down below just so you can check out their website and kind of see like 
inside of the store and one of my last videos I did a tour just kind of quickly panning around so you can see it but they're only located in Austin so I only get to go there when I go to Austin and it is absolute heaven every time I go it is my favorite place on earth to be wandering and touching all of the things and I know invariably every time I post these videos people think this stuff is trash or gross or strange or weird and obviously this is not everyone's taste in decorating, but I love sharing a lot of stuff with you guys and uh, this is just another thing that I like to share. I wish I had like maracas right now. <laughs> Did anybody ever make maracas out of like toilet paper rolls and beans? And you just, and like, I was momentarily in Girl Scouts and we made bean toilet paper maracas. It was a good time, I'm gonna make some. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love y'all so very much. Thank you for being here with me today and spending some time with me. Comment down below and let me know what you think of all this stuff. If you're not already and you'd like to be, please do take a moment, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!